PR5 Live, I'm Bobby T. I'm Martin. And I'm Tommy Dreamer. Holy oh, shit, Tommy yeah. Dreamer! I didn't show up anywhere. Oh, wow. All right, huh? We are 5 Live, I am Bobby T, and today I'm talking about Wrestle Kingdom 12. Oh, it's gonna be epic. All right, guys. Hey, we don't normally talk a lot about uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling, but this is Wrestle Kingdom 12, so it has to be talked about. This thing is going to be huge this year. So, uh, obviously, there's the matches we know about, uh, Naito versus Okada, uh, Jericho versus Omega, and we'll briefly go over these things as we kind of fire through. We'll start at the bottom of the card. Uh, ahead of time, just remember to like, share, and subscribe. Check us out at 5 Live VP. Uh, we actually finally got our channel name, so we, we are 5 Live VP on YouTube, so yeah. Um, so we will be firing through these one match at a time. We'll give you a quick little synopsis and then we're just going to move on. You've probably heard these things ad nauseum. The event starts at 2 a.m. Eastern Time, uh, 5 a.m. Mountain. This is going to be a late one. We'll be doing our late our live show tonight at 10.30. Uh, that will actually feature just myself as we have a snowstorm coming in here in Connecticut. So Chris and Martin will not be with us. But let's fire in here, guys, with our... First match of the night. All right, guys, so first match of the night is going to be the New Japan Rumble. It's going to have similar to the Royal Rumble rules, but you don't get thrown over the top to get eliminated. You actually have to get pinned or submitted. They have not said anyone who's going to be an entrant in this yet, so that will be a surprise tonight at uh, 2 a.m., I guess. So we will see, but I think it's going to be a good one because why wouldn't it be? All right, guys, this next match is going to be one that I have a personal interest in because I love the Bucks. It is Roppongi 3K versus the Young Bucks. Um, earlier in the year, uh, 3K had won the titles. Uh, then they ran through that junior tag team division like you would not believe, destroyed the tournament, proving that these guys are the best in the world. Uh, but the problem is, the Bucks weren't there. So if you didn't beat the Bucks, are you the best? And that is what the Bucks are challenging tonight at Wrestle Kingdom 12. So get ready to tie down for this one. It's going to be insane. We know it's the Bucks, so it will be a super kick party. This so next matchup on the card is going to be the six-man tag team match championships, which is actually kind of funny because there is going to be uh, four teams in this. There's going to be 12 guys in this match. I do have to read this one from the card because there are a lot of guys in it. So just uh, bear with me as I look off camera here. Uh, it's going to be Bullet Club as champions going versus Chaos versus Michael Elgin and War Machine and Suzuki Gun versus uh, Taguchi Japan. So this match will be awesome. It's gonna be nuts. It's gonna be gauntlet style. Um, the, this is gonna be the first time that the club is actually defending these in a big event here. So it's gonna be great. Another little side note here is this is War Machine's last match uh, with NJPW. So at least with NJPW, we don't know if it's gonna be for good. Who knows, maybe NXT? We'll see how this works out. Uh, but I think this one is gonna be a pretty epic schmaz. So the next match is going to be a good one. A uh, few stipulations that kind of changed for how this match was booked, but it is going to be a great one, and that is going to be Cody, uh, the American Nightmare Rhodes. Well, can't say Rhodes. Maybe did I beep that? Uh, and that's going to be going up against Kota Ibushi. So this match is pretty awesome. Cody is out there kind of challenging for leader of Bullet Club while Kenny's got his thing going on. Um, so the thing here is that this is Omega's former partner, so there is a little bit of feelings there tied in. Um, they've been going back and forth uh, right after the Intercontinental title match for Ibushi after he had lost. Cody mocked him, so that was initially set for just a huge battle for the Ring of Honor Heavyweight Championship, which, as we all know, Cody lost in December. So this match is actually now more of a... Uh, grudge match seems like either way it's an awesome match on the card uh, we know the work rate of Abushi and, and Cody are going to be through the roof uh, this will be something of a redemption make Cody's time in NJPW really worth it At the same time it kind of goes the same way for Abushi, having just really gotten out of a mask after his whole uh, we'll call it debacle um, I think this is going to be a good one though guys so do definitely tune in or stay away for this one so the next one is going to be for the Never Openweight Championship belt. This is a, kind of a, a crazy thing, just open weight in general. Uh, the other six-man tags also for the N-E-V-E-R Never belt. Um, so this match is going to be between Suzuki and Goto, uh, Suzuki being champion. Um, Goto recently got a pin over him in a tag match, which then made the argument for maybe he should get a, a title fight. 
that's what's happening here. So, uh, but as a little bit of a stipulation, what was added is Suzuki and Goto are putting up their hair. So it wouldn't be much of a loss for me, but these guys, it's what they do, man. So it's going to be fun, little little fun stipulation. We're starting to get a little bit uh, Vince russo -y here, so let's see if Judy Bagwell shows up on a pole next. All right, guys, so now the next match on the card is going to be a pretty good one. We have some pretty all-star talent here, and who has been recently voted on a lot of people's lists as one of the top guys of the year. And uh, So this is the Junior Heavyweight Championship four-way match between, I'm going to read off screen again here, uh, Marty Skrull versus Will Ospreay versus Kushida versus Takahashi. Um, all these rivalries are kind of coming to a head here right now. Skrull recently took the belt off of Ospreay. Uh, he also has a little bit of a feud with Kushida and Takahashi's got a feud with Osprey and everyone's got something going with somebody so this match is going to be coming to a head a lot of storylines coming to a head here with a junior heavyweight championship match you always know there's going to be something crazy going on it will turn into a spot fest as most of these things do but I'll be there cheering every spot and my guess is again we're, we're looking at uh, 3.45 in the morning or so here now we have Young Lion versus Old Lion, and this is going to be insane. Uh, I think we're going to definitely get a spot fest out of this one. This is what I watch Japanese wrestling for. It's going to be very hard hitting, um, especially in this match. We're looking at uh, Tanahashi, the Intercontinental Champion, going up against Switchblade. Now Switchblade, uh, aka Jay White, is a Young Lion from the New Japan Dojo. So he's looking to make a name for himself, and what a way to do it if you capture the Intercontinental Championship at Wrestle Kingdom 12 from some Someone as main event as Tanahashi who has main evented the last six of these Wrestle Kingdoms uh, aside from I believe last year you know uh, when we had <coughs> Omega versus Okada but you know I digress uh, this one's gonna be pretty insane I think we're not gonna see match of the year here but on a scale of what you'd compare to WWE this is gonna be match of the year I uh, really have high hopes for this one now the match that almost everyone here has been waiting for um, cannot say enough about this match because we know what's going to happen here. This is going to be Kenny Omega versus Chris Jericho, WWE's own. Uh, I guess not really though because he was in AAA and he was in NJPW and he was in WCW and ECW and WWF and WWE. Chris Jericho is the renaissance man of wrestling. I think he no joke when he says he's the greatest of all time he means it and kenny omega is inching up there i uh, cannot wait to see what comes from this match it has been pure brutality up till this point whether it's uh, back you know getting attacks from behind and jericho wiping the blood on the face which is just the ultimate heel move um or if it's just Omega going insane. Uh, the shot of them fighting at that press conference with all the reporters on top of them is just amazing. Total build for this match has been already a five-star match and they haven't even locked up yet. So we're gonna see if this breaks Meltzer's list uh, as Omega tends to. Um, also, I, you know, in my fantasy booking mind, I really wanna believe that as much as New Japan wants to keep Omega to build the Omega, the uh, American audience, I believe that this may be a little bit of a backstage-y uh, Vince thing where he's getting his WWE tryout from the one person who can try you out the hardest, and that is Chris Jericho. So we shall see. Uh, WrestleMania is not too far around the corner, guys, so uh, we'll keep our marky smarky fingers crossed and uh, maybe we'll get this. And for the main, main, main event of the night is Okada versus Naito. Okada going in as the IWGP Heavyweight Champion, the most revered belt on the planet, uh, has not been watered down. I would love to sit here and say as a mark for WWE that WWE has the number one belt, but they do not. It is the IWGP. Uh, Hogan even said it. He called the toy a belt, or he called the belt a toy. He also, uh, uh, Brock Lesnar said the same thing. This is the one. So, um, knowing that, when you have someone who's been putting on these amazing matches versus Okada, uh, being Kenny Omega, saying that Naito is the best, it really gives you this feeling that we may see something happen here tonight. Uh, this will be a storytelling match, that is how Okada does it. Uh, it, it will be the slow build until you finally just get that final Rainmaker, and it's going to go insane in the Tokyo Dome. I uh, can't wait to see this one. My guess is 5 a.m., guys. <laughs> wow. Uh, might do some live streaming on this one so you can see a Red Bulled Out 
uh, just falling asleep Bobby T. Uh, it'll, it'll be actually kind of funny. Uh, you may end up seeing a few minutes of Bobby T sleep, uh, but it will all be worth it when it finally goes down. Um, hopefully, WWE Creative's watching. Here's how you're going to do it. We already know this event is going to be a five-star. With that, we've been five live. I am Bobby T. Do not forget, guys, you bought it because you loved it, and that's all that matters. All right, guys, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, and check us out online at 5 Alive VP on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And check out some of our other videos that are kind of floating somewhere over here and a little subscribe thing. So if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Also, hit like. Come on, it's just a couple clicks.